Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mal and I am the owner and maker of Made by Manny and Mal. Today's video is kind of a special one. I was invited to do a collaboration with a bunch of other fantastic tumbler makers and we were challenged to make an ugly Christmas sweater tumbler. So we could have either taken inspiration from an ugly Christmas sweater that we owned or that we saw somewhere, a pattern we found somewhere. I decided to just like make my own and put my own together. I had this idea of bright, fun colors, kind of a little bit of a, like that modern retro vibe and style that's kind of popular right now. And I really just wanted this to be super colorful. When I think of ugly Christmas sweaters, I think of like the busiest, you know, they've got a lot going on. They're, you know, just like so ugly that they're cute and that they're kind of fun. So that's what I wanted to recreate on this tumbler. It was so much fun to put together and I really hope that you like it. Make sure that you check out all of the other creators that are participating in this challenge with me. I will have their channels linked down below in the description box. So make sure that you subscribe to their channels, follow them on Instagram, all of that great stuff. They are some fantastic makers. So make sure that you support them as well. And I hope that you enjoy the video. Let's go. going to jump right in. I've got my epoxy mixed here. I'm using a little extra ink epoxy and I mixed together Firefly from PDB and Bright from Peachy Olive Glitters into about 30 milliliters of epoxy, just a little bit of each. And we're going to be using a powder coated white 20 ounce skinny from Craft Haven. So these are ready to go. Um, you don't have to do any prep to them. I usually will maybe do a little bit of light sanding and wipe them down with rubbing alcohol, but they are ready to go once you've done that. So I'm just going to apply a thin layer of that epoxy to my cup. And now I'm ready to go right into my decal work. I'm actually doing water slides. I found this super cute and fun Santa with his little Christmas tree glasses, and I printed it out on clear water slide. This image does come with a quote around it, but I just wanted to use the Santa and then I used another quote. I got all of these files on Etsy and I will have them linked down below. So I sealed my water slides three times with Rust-Oleum clear gloss spray, and then I put them into some room temperature water and applied them to my cup. Santa's beard is white, obviously, and we have a clear water slide on a white background so you can't see his beard, but don't worry, I'm gonna go in and kind of just draw in my own version of his beard. For the quote, I wanted to add this super cute retro-y kind of fun font um, it, or quote. It says Merry and Bright. Um, I cut it into individual pieces so that I could kind of work it around the image and make it all look like it was put together not by me, <laughs> you know, like it came that way. So I'm just applying this, I put Mary and then and next to his face and bright down at the bottom. And this is going to be the base or like the main part of our ugly sweater. So I am just kind of creating my own. I wanted to add a whole bunch of elements, but I wanted to go with this really colorful and kind of non-traditional retro, just really bright and colorful Christmas vibe. So I let this water slide dry overnight before I went in with epoxy. I took 20 milliliters of a little extra ink epoxy and did another coat on this cup to seal my water slide in and get us ready for the next step of our ugly sweater. The first thing I'm going to do after this epoxy cures before I move on with any other decals is draw in Santa's beard so you can very, very faintly see kind of where his beard is supposed to go. Um, and I just took a paint pen from Arteza and I pulled up the image on my phone, the Etsy image, so that I could kind of follow what the picture looked like. Obviously, I couldn't replicate it perfectly, um, but I just kind of... I had fun with this. I've never drawn a beard before, so it was kind of fun to put it together. And then I also went in, I drew the little lines in his beard to give it a little bit of texture. And I went around his hat too, to give that fuzzy white part of his hat a little bit of an outline. If you want to avoid doing this, you can always use clear printable vinyl. You can use regular printable vinyl and just cut it out. Or you can use white water slide and just cut it out on your machine. I just prefer to use clear water slide. It's a whole lot easier for me to work with, but whatever your preference is, is absolutely fine. 
So there's his beard all drawn in and I'm going to go around his hat and draw that in. And I was actually really proud of this. I, I was pretty impressed with my beard drawing skills. <laughs> so I let that dry about 30 minutes and now I'm ready to start building my sweater design around this water slide. I got these super cute kind of vintage retro car, you know, vehicle sticker pack at Hobby Lobby. And I got these Christmas trees as well. And then I have all of these super cute um, Banff vinyl sheets. They're clear or transparent um, and they show up really well on a white background. So I'm going to use those because I got them in my subscription box and I want to use them all up. They're so festive and fun. And I'm starting with these Christmas lights. These are um, just different bright colors. They've got lime green and red. And I cut one of the little strands out of the sheet of vinyl and I'm working it around this top border of my cup. I want to make sure that the lights don't overlap with my letters. So I'm testing it, kind of holding it around, making sure that it can lay where I want it to. So I'm just holding it there, making sure I don't want to have any overlap. And then I'm gonna lay down one little piece of that um, Christmas light and I'm just going to start to smooth this onto my cup essentially just like a vinyl wrap except a super tiny one because we just have this one little stripe and I'm just working this around just be really careful with these because once you put them down they're not really repositionable you can't pick them up and just put them somewhere else so just be careful as you do this and then I took off the backing once I got pretty much to the end cut off any excess so that this strand of lights would meet up perfectly and there we go I'm loving it and then I took this kind of ugly sweater patterned vinyl and I trimmed off a super small little piece and I'm gonna wrap this around the very bottom edge of our cup. So the way that I set up the water side, we had more room at the bottom than we did at the top, but I wanted it to all look cohesive and look like it made sense. So I cut about an inch, this is about an inch wide of this vinyl and I'm going to just wrap it around that bottom edge of my cup very carefully and slowly making sure I get this perfectly straight and I'm just going to smooth it onto my cup the exact same way that I did with those top Christmas lights. Once I had that secured onto my cup, I was ready to go in with my little cars. Now these are kind of those like puffy, almost 3D stickers. And in hindsight, I would recommend not using these. If you can find flat stickers, that would be a whole lot better. Um, these gave me a lot of trouble with epoxy. They lifted. So my cup is really, really thick because I had to put a lot of epoxy on them to get them to be smooth and like to so the cup doesn't feel like you've got all these pokey stickers sticking out so i just alternated between car christmas tree car christmas tree up at the very top next to my letters um and then up or down at the very bottom right above that pink or red vinyl and i just picked um, some of the brighter ones i really liked the lime green and the pink and the aqua colors um, and i wanted to really bring that out because that's the main color of our decal once I had those down on there, I went back in with another strand of the same Christmas lights we used up at the top, but this one I cut out both the top and the bottom, so there's lights going up and down, and I'm just going to work that right around the middle um, next to Santa. So I'm just making sure that this is laying straight, and I'm going to smooth it on just like normal. So I'm kind of using like a traditional sweater where it's got you know, like this, not a stripe pattern, but hopefully you know what I mean. I'm just going for like the busier, the better, the more elements, the better. I really just wanted this to be like a super fun, bright, busy, colorful Christmas masterpiece. <laughs> so there's what I've got so far. I am going to seal this all with a coat of epoxy. I used about 20 to 25 milliliters and you can see that blue car is just giving me a whole lot of grief. It's sticking up. I can like stick my fingernail in there but it's okay. It still looks cute at least. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in and fill in these two gaps um, on the cup and I'm using more vinyl from Banff Custom Creations. I'm using these little blue ornaments and then these little black and white Santas and I'm just cutting out some pieces and I'm going to place these alternating in those little spots. I love this black and white Santa. He's so cute. So I'm just doing, I did a little blue ornament and then I'm going to do this Santa 
and then I'll do a little bigger ornament or a different color. Really want this to look as random and just kind of really fun. I'm just like leaning into the fun, bright, colorful vibe of this whole thing. So I did that up at the top and then I repeated the exact same process down at the bottom. So now that I've got all of my elements on my cup, I'm just going to continue to add very thin coats of epoxy until my cup is as smooth as I can get it. Like I said, those little cars and the Christmas tree stickers gave me a whole lot of grief. So I just added epoxy until my cup was smooth. So here it is. Here is my super bright, busy, and fun, ugly Christmas sweater tumbler. Um, I really love how it turned out and it was really, really fun to put together. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope you like the cup. Don't forget to check out all of the other creators that are making ugly Christmas sweater tumblers as well. They are all linked down below in the description box. Make sure you subscribe to their channels. Um, they make some pretty great content. So make sure you check them out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And I'll see you in my next one. Love you. Bye. So we could have either found a a sweater and recreated that on a tumbler, made our own, and you know, find and what am I talking about? <laughs>